the beautiful lady has arrived. I thought I was going to go pick her up from her house, but she wanted to go ahead and come over and wait for me at my house. So she's actually outside waiting. So let's go ahead and knock this fucking sneaker profile out of the fucking park along with this beautiful fit with that light shining bright on greatness as always. Mr. Wonderful is back in the FC sneaker factory to close out the show. Right, to bring the finale when it comes to these purple box Nike Dunk SBs from his FC Sneaker Factory behind him. Of course, Mr. Wonderful is looking amazing for the fifth and final video. The fifth and final beautiful profile when it comes to this segment. I am rocking this beautiful black routine that I actually did a sneaker unboxing or a sneaker of Floyd's pickup on. This amazing rude hat of course the skin looking amazing the smiles always looking amazing and i am rocking this amazing g-shock 6900 in that futura right there that futura collaboration and i'm i'm wearing some nice ag shorts so i'm i'm keeping it casual keeping it nice and cool because we are in that summer heat right now so let's go ahead and go forward right so the first one I brought to you when it comes to that Purple Box SB Lines was that amazing shoe that I suggest you go back and watch in case you missed it, which was the St. Patty's. Then I want to go ahead and hit you with that Why So Sad SB Dunk. Great shoe when it came to that one. The third one was the Barcelona colorway. And then after that with Sneaker Profiles 229 leading up to this gorgeous shoe that I have right here to my right. But we looked at in the past one was that just a, another amazing shoe that I feel like doesn't get enough glory, which was the laser blue colorway that pays nod to the Air Max 90. All right, so this one right here, this purple box. I mean, I'm really surprised that this is even a purple box because it's just a very gorgeous shoe. I did not have the chance to purchase this for retail, so I had to go to the resale market. And it actually, this was really the first video that I ever dropped where I unboxed this shoe. It was one of the, what, uh, 22 unboxing uh, shoes that I unboxed. I wanna say, what, 2021 was when I first dropped that video. I even forgot, but shout out to Jay Hernandez. I know he sold his collection. Sorry for you, buddy. No, but um, congratulations, man, that's a big, victory and you're willing to be able to part with all of them so shout out to you for that i appreciate dirty at that time he was really holding down the fort when he came to youtube now the man's disappeared who knows where dirty is, dirty's at but hopefully he's healthy and well but now mr wonderful has stepped out into the spotlight that he so fucking deserves and he's taking youtube by the fucking throat and i am yes the I am the fucking lion when it comes to this sneaker jungle and these shoes are definitely my prey. And when it comes to YouTube, YouTube, I definitely stand up on you as my pedestal. And when it comes to the sneaker game, it is definitely Mr. Wonderful's playground. Of course though, looking amazing, I'm about to head out. Always cutting those fucking amazing promos that only Mr. Wonderful does. Always looking amazing in front of the camera because you know what? I never fucking let you down when it comes to that. I'm always looking amazing. I'm always showing you greatness when it comes to the sneakers and I'm showing you greatness when it comes to this to myself. I'm always standing before you, sitting before you, always intact, always amazing in front of the camera and always giving you that fucking great delivery that you so gratefully deserve. And of course, that light is shining bright on you beautiful people out there because you are actually tuning in to this fucking channel right here. The FC Sneaker Factory. The person that holds that holds no punches and tells no lies. And the person that gives it to you in that HBO late night, that Cinemax late night content that only I fucking give you. If you can stand it, go ahead and sit in and watch these fucking profiles that I deliver. Those doors are open for you beautiful people, so go ahead and come on in and witness greatness in that 4K fashion. Let me go ahead and open up the books right here. 
because you know what? I am the author of this fucking book of my profiles that I've been delivering to you for so for quite some time now because we are on sneaker profiles. 230. Oh, right here. 230. What a way to cap off the sneaker profiles, to cap off this specific segment, right? When we're talking about these beautiful Nike Dunk SB purple boxes. What a way to cap it off with this one right here. An amazing shoe. And actually, not too long ago, I did a pink box profile on the J Pack, right? The game the game royal. The cookie, aka the cookie monster. Well, this one right here is the the sister to it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. It is a purple box. That's why it's in this segment. Purple box, but I'm really surprised that this is not a rainbow color box. But I want you to pay attention to that right there. Nike SB Dunk Low Pro. Varsity Red Black Dash White in that beautiful size 10 and a half. This is a StockX pickup, and oh my goodness, I paid a good amount of money for this one. But it's a, it's well worth it. But you do got that green and white wood grain tissue paper. Great shoe though. I picked this one up on uh, December, I'm sorry, September 18, 2021. So like I mentioned previously though, I did do a, that was my first live, my first content drop when it comes to YouTube. Very green when it came to that. Did, didn't know, you know, the whole ins and out when it comes to the lives and being in front of the camera. So I did that back in 2021. I unboxed 22 shoes, right? Just had them all stacked up. Just started unboxing them. Uh, Jay and Dirty were on the live with me. Probably didn't have more than 10, 15 people back then uh, at the, on the live at that time. But it was just fun. It was fun to bring you that. I haven't looked back because it, I think it went out for like two two plus two and a half hours something like that something crazy don't have the time to review it but if you have the time <laughs> go watch that and see how that turned out i i gotta do it again i gotta re-watch that again just to see how how it was and how i looked back then so crazy time but we are talking about sneaker profiles 230 the nike dunk sb purple box the chicago colorway AKA the J Pack, the Chicago colorway. So this shoe released back in September 1st of 2020, right? Shoe release, just a great shoe right here. Or I'm sorry, 2021. Great shoe right there that was released. Great shoe that I have in my hand. I'm very happy to have this because you know what? I kick myself because I actually had the when the Air Jordan 1 Chicago retro I actually had that it was the most latest retro and I sold it and I want to say I bought it for like 300 bucks and I probably sold it for like 350 I didn't make much but at that time I was really downsizing now that shoes like fucking what almost 2,000 kick myself in the ass for that so very happy to have this one though a beautiful low in that beautiful SB obviously inspired by the Air Jordan 1 you know colorway uh, the design right so gorgeous shoe though i love this shoe it is a purple box so it's not going to be have the greatest materials but it's just that beautiful red and white and black colorway that we see so what we see right here what i see is the white toe box that beautiful red leather going on as well going up through the shoelaces going through the side panel right here in that beautiful red that chicago red that white side panel right in that beautiful leather right here that black leather swoosh that all white midsole in that beautiful red outsole right here let's take a look at the rear of the shoe right here we do got that black nike sewn in in right here that black upper leather the red leather right here very uh, just below the black white midsole red outsole love the medial part because it is totally different from the lateral part not it is the same exact as we see in the lateral part from the medial side but we do have that red leather side panel gorgeous though black leather swoosh that white middle side panel when it comes to the leather just gorgeous red right here going towards the toe box we do have that nice pure white midsole that red 
outsole. Let's take a look at the outsole. I still have not had a chance to wear this, but we are having the Nike SB in all white in the middle, but all red also pretty much throughout the entire shoe. My favorite part right here, let's take a look at the aerial view on this shoe. Love it. Aerial view definitely pops. White leather toe box, but it transition, transitions into this white mesh tongue, black laces. You do have that red tag, that Chicago red tag, but you do have the Nike, the swoosh, the SB, Dunk Low Pro in all white. Inside, you got that beautiful black collar when it comes to the ankle support, but then you have that beautiful red insole with that SB in white. As you can see, StockX tag still attached because I haven't had a chance to wear this. It's been, what, three years now since this has came out and I still haven't had a chance to wear it, but very happy to have this in the collection. Gorgeous shoe. I even forgot that I had it. <laughs> can you believe that? I even forgot it because I was actually looking into buying the the Chicago colorway low and I was like, I think I have the, the SB, so that totally woke me up on this one. Have it, probably don't need the low. But I would like to definitely own the, the Air Jordan 1 high again. I missed that shoe. Shouldn't have fucking sold it. Ugh, kick myself in the ass for that one. Gorgeous shoe, especially for $350. Can you believe that? On eBay. Gorgeous shoe. What do you think about this one, though? Is this the best one, do you think, as far as the SB line goes when it comes to, you know, the, the J-Packs? Like I mentioned, I hit you with the... Cookie Monster, the Gamer Oil Low, beautiful shoe. Love the color, love the materials on that one. The materials on that Cookie Monster blows this one out of the park. But this one just definitely looks amazing because it does have those that old school, that OG Chicago vibes when it comes to this. Do you think the J Pack Cookie Monster is better than this one, or do you think this one stands up above that one, or do you like those other ones, right? The Game Purple, the the Green. Um, don't own those two shoes. I don't own those, but I mean, I do own this one. This one, I feel like is the only one that matters because this is the original colorway right here. But what do you think? Is this one in your collection? Do you have it? Did you pay resale or did you get, were you blessed by the retail God on, on that? Let me know. Drop a comment down below. Let me know about that. I appreciate each and every single one of you for stepping on into the FC Sneaker Factory. Those doors are about to be shut when it comes to my FC Sneaker Factory. Just like this book, it is shut on Sneaker Profiles 230. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful segment of the Nike Dunk Purple Boxes. I absolutely love them. Still have a ton more to do when it comes to SBs, when it, when it comes to Jordans. A6 New Balance, I still have a ton of shoes to go through to do pro profiles on. And hopefully that you guys and those beautiful ladies, oh, oh, my cheerleaders, will continue to join me on this journey of sneakers. Because you know what? When it comes to this fucking channel right here, I am a true fucking sneakerhead. So you should fucking support me. Instead of supporting all those other so-called sneakerhead, all those fakes, those fucking phonies out there, that don't give a fuck about shoes, but they just care about reselling shoes and giving you sneaker advice. God help them. Because when it comes to this channel, I am the fucking real deal. Real deal Holyfield. But as you guys all know me as Mr. Wonderful Floyd Chavez, and just like I know this beautiful lady that's waiting for me outside, she's gonna say to me at the end of this day, Mr. Wonderful Floyd, Oh, baby. You are too. Damn.